Hey there, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. And thanks for tuning in. We are talking about what to do when an error occurs. So in this example, we have a simple table here. Uh, this is called Table 2. So um, we're going to hit Alt F11 and go into the Visual Basics menu here. Let's go ahead and go into... We'll erase that one. We'll just go into a fresh clean module and we'll say we're going to make a new macro. We'll call it um, lookup. Or we'll call it my lookup or something like that. Okay. So now we're in it. We're going to say, <coughs> let's say, hobby. Because we're going to do a VLOOKUP, hobby equals application dot worksheet function dot VLOOKUP. That's how you do um, the functions. You do application dot worksheet function dot. In this case, we're going to do a VLOOKUP. So the argument one we know is, let's just put one in there. Let's say singing, for example. I just want to show you. You can use variables or you can use a cell also. You need to review my earlier videos on the range object, the cells object, to see how to do some of that. Right now, we'll just use. Uh, whoops! No, we're gonna feed, we're gonna look up Jiminy Cricket. And what was it called? It was called Table Two, Column Two, and Zero, meaning false. So, really quick, I'm gonna hit F8, F8. Hobby equals to be singing. I did a VLOOK of the of the term chimney cricket. Now check this out. Let's say that something was spelled wrong, like it would say Jimin cricket instead of Jiminy cricket, or there was an extra space at the end, or something like that. It'll give you an error. So I'll hit F8 to debug through. We get here. I happen to know that that's not a valid VLOOKUP. It'll go to an error. So there's a lot of things you could do. Here's your Runtime error 1004. You're going to get that all the freaking time with VLOOKUPs. Unable to get the VLOOKUP property, blah, blah, blah. So you can hit end or you can hit debug. Let's do debug to work out our problems here. Here's one thing that you can do. And uh, you may have seen our other video on the go to. It's a short video. But we're going to say on error go to. And let's make up a uh, location. On error, go to error message. And then we'll make a little spot right here. Error message. Put a colon. And then anything under there. And whenever an error occurs, it will zap you right there and have a custom message and skip, possibly skip the rest of your macro or just take you to a certain area, wherever you deem necessary. We're going to say message box. Um, can't look up that person. Must be a typo. That'll be our little message here. So... Uh, instead of Jiminy Cricket, let's put, uh, let's have this macro look up whatever's in cell D2 right here. Let's do that. So, we're, instead of looking up an exact text, we'll say range Oops. D2. Mercy. There we go. So, we're looking up the range of range D2, which we don't have anything in. Just for example, say Jiminy Cricket. That's in cell D2. And there we go. So, hobby equals that. And singing. Okay. Now, you notice we go immediately to our error, even though there was no error, because it's just where it normally goes. So, if there's a successful macro, then you put your maybe go to ending and then you have something at the very end that will take you out take you away from going to your error message or other messages so let's go back here 
got hobby, and if hobby worked out without getting an error, then it'll hop to the ending. You notice it skipped over there. Now let's run it again. Uh, let's change the cell before we get there to Jiminy Ricket. Okay. So, uh, on error, go to error message. If that wasn't there, it would just go through and it would give you that horrible little screen. Let me show you. I'm not going to run that part. It would show you this again. It would say, we can't get it, blah, blah, blah. So, but if we run this phrase right here on error, go to error message, or go to wherever we, so you know, I'm going to hit F8, and now it's programmed not to give that phony message, but rather just to do something, take action on an error event. So I'm going to hit F8, and you notice it goes straight to the message that says, hey, we can't look up that person, it must be a typo. All right? So now we're not going to pause through it. Let's go ahead and run our macro Alt F8. And we'll go to the one called My Lookup and run it. Can't look up that person. Must be a typo. All right. Uh, let's go back in here. If there was no error, let's, let's just say message box hobby. That way it'll give us a message of whatever the VLOOKUP successfully was. So let's run it uh, with the capital C right there. Alt F8, my lookup, singing. Oh, let's try something else. How about Mr. Dude? You can see he's in the table. So Alt F8, we'll run the macro to do a lookup. And run. His hobby is stuff about that but if there's an error alt f8 see there's no period in mr. dude now it'll say can't look up that person must be a typo so that's how to do an error message and using on error go to now there's another thing you can do uh, we'll save that for our next video thanks for watching